everyone, welcome again to my YouTube channel. My name is Aisha Lagunju and if you're new to this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I love, love having you around and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being a part of this uh, beautiful and growing YouTube family. I see your comments, I see your likes, I see your shares and um, I see new people subscribing every day and it's been so humbling for me um, despite, you know, not being able to post in a couple of weeks now. Uh, this is because life is currently happening to me. Um, look, there's lockdown in Melbourne and childcare uh, centers are locked. So, you know, we're working full time around two little kids. As you can imagine, that has been really, really hard. Um, so yeah, I will um, come on here from time to time, hoping that the lockdown is I'm lifted and we're back to normal. So yeah, thank you for sticking around guys. Thank you so much. I'm so so grateful. On this channel, I share my life experiences as a Nigerian living here in Australia and I share very helpful and informative content on moving, living and ultimately thriving here in Australia. Um, if, you, if there's any topic that you would like me to talk about, please leave down in the comment section and I will definitely get to it. A lot of people are coming into my DM to kind of, you know, ask questions and some of those questions actually form, um, you know, the topics that I talk about. So recently I had someone ask me, should they move to Canada or Australia? And so I've been working on this topic, guys. You know, Canada, Australia, which one should you move to? That will be my next video after this video. So today's video is a really quick one. It's an exciting announcement to, you know, offshore immigration to Australia, which is really exciting. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this one. Um, but yeah, if this is content that you are interested in, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell. And that way you never get to miss any of my future videos. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. So yeah guys, I'm just going to start with the first exciting one, which is um, South Australia. They've now opened up um, further occupations for offshore immigration, uh, which is 70 occupations from the 28th of September. Really exciting guys. So you want to check that out to see if, you know, your occupation is on the list. Having said that, the downside to this is that the uh, rules are stricter, uh, as you can tell, you, you need to have at least eight years of work experience and uh, proficient plus English level, which is the max. Unfortunately, if you do not have the max score in your English test, uh, just hanging there, guys. Um, other states will open as time goes on. So, yeah, uh, all you need to do is open up the occupation list uh, and I'll show you how to check, you know, each occupation and what the eligibility criteria is. So, yeah, this is the list. Um, from the 28th of September, you can see the sales and marketing manager. There's, you know, heaps of them. So just have a look. Uh, don't worry if this seems a little bit fast for you. I have listed all of the links down below so you can, you know, check it in your own time. And once you pick out your occupation, if you, if you find it there, um, congratulations, just, uh, copy the answer code and then put it against um, the other link that I'm going to show you, I'm about to show you, and then just check out what the eligibility criteria is. If you meet all of the criteria, th then that's good. Just, you know, put in your application. So what I've tried to do here is to copy for sales and marketing manager, and then I have gone to, um, you know, the South Australia occupation uh, list to paste uh, that code all you need to do is paste that code in there as as I'm just about to show you um, paste the code and then it will um, automatically bring out the particular occupation that you are searching for so see sales and marketing manager and then just click on details it will show you all you need to um, know about the eligibility and you know if you uh, if you see what I, um, if you remember what I said, you need a proficient plus, which is a max. Um, you need six, a minimum of six to five points. It's also a 491 uh, visa, guys. It's a regional visa that allows you to live in regional um, Australia for up to five years. Uh, and so, yeah, if you do meet the criteria, just go for it, guys. 
<laughs> so this is the uh, Tasmania migration, which is also open to um, offshore um, applicants. And then this is for the subclass 491 again, the skilled work regional visa that allows you live up to five years in regional Australia. So this one is, um, I guess, a little bit straightforward in the sense that you only get invited. So all you need to do is submit an expression of interest on skill select. Don't worry, guys, I'm just going to link everything that I'm saying. So, um, yeah, so don't worry about it. Uh, so you just need to submit an expression of interest. If you think that you have met all of the criteria, such as, you know, the English test, the um, if your occupation is on the list, if you already have a positive assessment from your um, skill assessment authority and um, just check check out all of the, um, you know, uh, requirements and see if you meet it. If you do, then just go ahead and um, submit an expression of interest on skill select. And if I mean, I, I feel like Tasmania, they're a bit like jealous. <laughs> They're a jealous state. So when you're feeling, you will see it on the um, on their website. I'm going to link that as well. You will see that they have written that if you if you pick any other states besides them, they might not even invite you. You know. So when you're putting in an application for Tasmania, just make sure you're picking them alone. If you're really, really, if you're that interested in Tasmania, so yeah, just have a look, have a read. I'm going to link down everything. And then if you meet that criteria, it's time to put in your application because yeah, um, they're open to offshore application, which is exciting. And so yeah, um, if you've been waiting, now is the time to actually act. And so yeah, I just, I mean, I wish you all the very best uh, with your application, but make sure to sit down and read through um, everything. Um, I've just opened up the occupation list as well. On this occupation list, I'll link it down below. You can see which occupations the assessment authorities and you can see the status of, um, you know, the visa type. If it's open to 491, you're going to be able to see all of that on this um, list that I've just opened up. So just make sure to read through, you know, sit with it and check that you actually do meet all of the requirements. And then I guess um, when you do uh, check all of that boxes it's time to um, put in your application you know for the um, offshore but don't forget guys this one is only by invitation until they have invited you you cannot put in an application on their website so you just need to submit that expression of interest and I wish you all the very best guys So guys, there you have it. I hope that you check all the boxes. So if you do meet all of the criteria that I've just listed out for both um, states, don't wait, just do it. You know, put in that application and um, I wish you all the very best. So see you next time guys, bye-bye. Thank you for watching my video. Please hit like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos every week. See you later. Bye-bye.